In this video, I'm gonna show you how to trap a raccoon. Look at this delicious trail of donuts, and then snap, I'm gonna catch them. They're pretty cute. Go on. There you go. Okay, we've got this property, and there is this raccoon that is in the attic. And it's been coming in and out, messing with our stuff for a while now. We had a company come out and they confirmed in the attic that there's no entry points. So the thing can't get out. It's just in the attic. And he said that he suspects that it has some food up there, uh, but it's gonna start getting adventurous and coming down into this apartment because there's no more food or water. So it has been doing that. We just got here after the weekend and it looks, uh, you know, the ceiling looks like that now. And then there's all the debris on the ground. So I think that the little guy's starting to get desperate. Uh, don't want to kill him, just want to trap him and want to let him go in the Pikes Peak National Forest. So I just bought this have a heart uh, cage. It's a live trap and uh, essentially you prop open the door and the creature walks in and trips it and then the door flattens and the reason why it walks in is because you put a bunch of treats and food in here so uh i bought some donuts and i'm gonna put some donuts in there because they smell really good so that hopefully the raccoon will will get into there and uh i might get it like a donut hole and then just like put it right on the edge just right there so that the raccoon can like i don't know come down because it sees and smells a donut and then it'll see more donuts. I've never done this before, but I'm pretty interested to see what will happen. I mean, I gotta get the thing out of here, otherwise it's gonna die and I don't want it to die. Especially when we're like really close to the mountains. So if I capture it, I will just take it out to the forest and that little guy's gonna have an awesome life. I'm hoping I can just take it out to the forest and it can live its life there instead of in this attic where it's making a mess, trying to find things. I know for sure that it is a raccoon because I have been looking around and I see little paw prints. Here's some urine that it left on the counter. This We had this place professionally cleaned and uh, yeah, it's been doing that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't know if you can see them right now, but there were little paw prints in here. There's one. So the, the, the guy's walking around, guy or girl, raccoon, walking around and really trying to find some moisture and liquid. So uh, it's just been getting into everything and making everything filthy. So uh, I, I gotta get this thing out of here. Well, I bought this from Ace Hardware. It was about $80, 85 bucks after tax. Uh, it was a hundred in the, in the shop, but I brought it up on their website and they price matched it. So that was pretty cool. So uh, let me open this up. All right, so this thing is about three foot wide three foot long and then one foot tall and one foot wide. And it's pretty heavy duty. I don't see, I don't see it breaking this. Okay, so it looks like there's a handle here and that handle is connected to this door. So I'm gonna pull this handle back to arm the door. And uh, you put your treats and snacks down on this end and the creature will walk in. This is good for capturing cats and stuff too. But basically it's gonna walk in and go all the way to the far end down there to get the, the treats and, or the water, whatever you put in. And ideally, it steps on this plate right here. And this is a pressure sensitive plate. And the moment it pushes on it, doors shut. And it doesn't have enough strength to push through and get out. Actually, the mechanism prevents it altogether. That's pretty cool. So you can't even lift this up. So it can push and push and push, but it's really just gonna have to bend the metal to get out. The only way for it to come out is if this lever lifts up and then the trap is pulled. Uh, but from its angle, it can't because you can see that this bar, once it pushes, it applies that pressure. It would have to break this bar, which at this size, I don't think it can. So that's pretty cool, that's ingenious. So you just lean that back to arm it. I'm not sure what that does yet, it says plus or minus. I'm just gonna leave it where it's at because it already works pretty well.
That is cool. Okay, after referring to my handy instructions, I learned that that knob is a sensitivity knob, and it is just a way to adjust the sensitivity of this pressure plate. I made it the most sensitive setting possible, so you hardly have to touch it. It will immediately trigger the trap. So I love it. I think it's exactly what I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it. I'm gonna go get my donuts and put them in there. So I'll be right back. I don't know why, but this feels like such a waste of these awesome donuts. But I got some, uh, like an apple pie donut and then just like a pink sprinkle donut and some donut holes. So we'll see. I wonder if this is enough to entice this guy to come on out. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to put these in without trapping myself. <laughs> Okay, so I got my sweet, delicious treats back there. I'm gonna test this pressure plate out one more time. Man, it is so easy to close, so I trust it. Come on, donuts, you better pay off here. And I got three donut holes right here. I think I'm gonna, I don't know, probably do something like get the dude interested. Maybe I'll put like half a donut there. Get a little bit closer in. And then I know he's up there, so when I get him real interested, I'm gonna put it like right on the edge. Ugh, donut just hit me in the face. <laughs> Let's try again. It's a big jump. Okay, that was Way more jumping than I thought it would be, and I got hit in the face with the donut way too many times. <laughs> okay, I got a donut like right there in the corner. We'll lure that guy out, and then I'll sneak down the wall. You can see all his little scratch marks that he's been making, because that's how he gets back up and down. So I'll sneak down, and then I'll be like, oh yeah, look at this delicious trail of donuts. And then snap, I'm gonna catch him. Okay, I'm gonna check back in in a little bit. Maybe we'll get him. I'll probably check in tomorrow morning. Come on, guy, come on out. All right, it's the next morning. Let's see if I caught the raccoon. Oh, oh I got him, I got you, man. Did you like those donuts? Those were some good donuts, weren't they? At least you got to eat them. Man, that's crazy that that huge raccoon could crawl down the wall. It just blows my mind. You okay, man? Okay, what do I gotta do? All right. Okay, I'm a little frazzled, but uh, I guess I need to get some gloves, put this thing in a vehicle, and I'm gonna go take it to the woods. Uh, we're like a f 10 miles from the, the forest, the Pike National Forest. Uh, so I'm just going to go take him there. Uh, and He's going to live a much better life than in this attic. This is exciting. I got him. All right. They're pretty cute. Okay, I'm gonna transport this thing in my van in the back. I'm gonna put some cardboard down because uh, it'll probably pee and poop, so maybe that'll catch it. All right, we just got him in the car. He has no idea how much better his life's about to be. It looks pretty, pretty cute. My fingers are neat. It's all right, buddy. It's almost over. And at least you got some donuts out of it. All right, headed to the mountains right now.
Okay, so here I am. We've got a lot of vegetation, trees, away from people for the most part. There's water. So I'm gonna go ahead and let them out. The way you let them out, pretty easy. You grab the handle here, and then you just pull it back. Oops. Sorry, dude, tricked ya. All right, you're free. Go ahead. There. If you step on the trigger, though, it locks you in. Okay. Go on. There you go. Look at that guy go. Look at him head and up. Well, that was a neat experience. I'm glad I caught him in a humane and ethical way. Glad I drove him out to the woods and let him go. I think I see him in a tree right now, so <laughs> he's in his element. Uh, he's got, you know, hundreds and hundreds of square miles of forest this direction. So hopefully uh, it enjoys its life and is in a better place. Okay, I did a backup test just in case. I put the trap up, I filled the trap up again last night. Oh my gosh, another one. This one doesn't look very cute. This one looks a little bit creepy. Okay, I'm gonna go take this to the exact same place and let them go. That way they can be together, ideally. Okay, got the second one in the car. <laughs> it's so cute. You ready to go see your friend? Yeah? Do you have any babies in there? I'm gonna have to try to catch them too then. Got some extra donuts, a little bit of a road snack. All right, let's go find your friend. All right, so it's a good thing that I, as a backup, set the trap again last night as a final thought, just in case, because I got a second one, so. I was very wrong. I honestly thought that there was only one in there. Uh, there ended up being two. So now I'm thinking there's probably a high likelihood there's little babies or maybe one of the two were pregnant possibly. So I'm gonna continue to set the trap. Maybe there's more adult raccoons as well. Uh, I am considering if there are babies and they're in the attic and they don't know or have the ability to climb down, I'm gonna put the trap up in the attic so that I can you know, capture them if they're, you know, heavy enough to set it off and, and go in it. So I'm gonna make every effort I can. If I don't catch anything tonight, uh, after putting it in the attic, then I'm actually gonna have me and a couple others, we're gonna go up in there with some big flashlights and, uh, you know, just look at every square inch of the place to ensure that there's no more raccoons, uh, small or large. I wanna make sure that I don't abandon anything up there and uh, that there's not gonna be baby raccoons that die. Uh, it would feel so bad if that happened. So uh, I'm almost up to the, uh, I'm almost up to the drop-off point in the forest for this second raccoon. I hope they can find each other from yesterday. Uh, I'm putting them in the same exact spot and we'll see. I, I imagine they're gonna be able to reconnect they probably will smell each other and, and figure it out. Um, if not, at least they're out of an attic and in a forest and they're where they should be. So uh, either way, it's a win-win for everybody. Okay, I'm back at the same spot up in the trees where I released the other one. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this door back open. You are free to go, buddy. See you later. That's so cool. Almost going the exact same path. Probably already on the scent to uh, his or her friend. 
Well, cool. That feels pretty good to release a second one. Uh, now I need to do that plan to make sure that there are no more in the attic. I really am uh, concerned that if there were babies in the attic that they would just die now at this point. So I'm going to be putting this trap in the attic and uh, I'll, keep, I'll closely monitor it and see what we catch. Again, if we don't get anything tomorrow, then we'll physically go up there and look at every square inch of the entire place. I need to be 100% sure that there's nothing up there. So, uh, all right, on to the next step. Okay, here is a view up in the attic. I have the trap set. I put a little bit of donut on the end here just to give a little enticement. And then at the back, past the pressure plate, is the rest of the donut. And uh, we'll see what I catch. If I get anything, I hope I do. If not, we'll go up here and we'll, we'll rummage through everything up here, every square inch, and make sure there's nothing left. Okay, it's the next morning. And it looks like the donuts are intact. I am very confident that this place is empty now. It's possible that the raccoon we found, one of them was pregnant. And there would have been babies soon. That's always possible. Okay, I'm up here in this attic. I got everywhere I can squeeze to. And I am very confident. I hear nothing and I see nothing. So... This place is finally cleared. All right, well, that was quite the experience. Uh, I feel like I learned a lot. I didn't expect to get two. I'm glad that it was only two. Now I just need to do my cleanup. I gotta clean these floors again, get the roof back to the attic access back together. Uh, you know, got some yucky, got some yucky spots I need to clean up little footprints everywhere. I need to get this place sanitized so I can get my resident moved in. Well, I hope that video was helpful and moderately entertaining. Thanks for watching.